What is going on, nerd perp readers? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang here with me today again as we're playing some more Planet Crafter and we're back into the green lushness of our planet after a fancy update, which included insects. Insects are now in the game and so are some really cool waterfalls and some new interesting structures that we're going to play with. I think that we'll just go ahead and pick up some of these insects who are now crawling around my base and on my fancy metal platform tile structure. I am Nick, and this is Nerd Parade. Thank you again for coming to hang with me, and I hope you're excited for some more Planet Craft. Now, if you are watching the series, binge watching the series because you picked up Planet Crafter and you absolutely love it, uh, then we have not skipped a single beat. We've been playing Planet Crafter this entire time. If you were wondering why there was a small gap between the last episode of Planet Crafter and this one, it's because we were playing Planet Crafter the entire time. No, I took a small break after we had beaten the game and we were waiting for uh, updates to happen, as I mentioned in the actual last video. Now that some updates have happened, I'm excited to jump back into it and really excited to make some of the cool new stuff, uh, which right away we have noticed to be an incubator, a behave. If it, I'm, I'm doing this on purpose, just to just to trigger you. Is it working? And a butterfly farm. Okay, that one's not as good. Beehive, butterfly farm, and incubator. Uh, I think the first thing that we should make is probably the incubator, because we can create new insects with this and... Uh, potentially new trees if we're let's go into our little our, our base potentially new trees and things of that nature if we go over here to our interface uh we can click here and there's a bunch of stuff that's locked because we have restriction by insects so a new tree seed cernia uh high quality food tree seed elegia and tree seed humalora actually these are starting to sound familiar I think I can make these in the DNA multiplier as well. Humalora is the one that sounds the most familiar. LG, I don't necessarily remember. S Cernia, I, I, more research is required. And finally, some fabric, which is pretty exciting because usually the fabric stuff we could only find like out in the wild. And maybe now, I think the icon looks different. Maybe now we can actually make some cosmetic stuff for our base. And then eventually an outdoor farm, butterfly display box. We need to do insect stuff. It's a whole other tree. And we have a fancy new icon on our terraformation stage to let us know that insects are in the game. But fish, fish are not. Not yet, anyway. But we're 47.9%, 49% to fish. And it's moving kind of quick. So we might be seeing fishes unlocked before fishes are in the game. As is tradition, that's what happened with insects. Now, build, let's build. Let's start with building incubator and there's also a butterfly dome which is right next to the biodome it it makes me think that it's a big big boy so i gotta figure out where i'm gonna put it on my base so where it's gonna look all nice but first things first incubator we need tree bark fertilizer tier two and super alloy and an oxygen capsule let's check our methane farm oh we have plenty of oxygen capsules in here cool now let's get our super alloy Click, click. Uh, what else was that? I forgot. Oh, I only needed one of those. Uh, fertilizer tier two. Uh, we should have... There's a bug in my face. How did you get in here? This place is perfectly sealed and airlocked. I've been contaminated. This is how we get ants, apparently. And by ants, I mean bug slugs. Hmm. Oh, I got a message. Is it, the, is it a message from the bug? Or is the bug communicating with me? No. Uh, we might need to make a fertilizer. To, no, I have plenty. I was going to say, I don't, I don't know how many I have. I don't remember how many I had made beforehand. We have plenty. Uh, let's put it inside, he said optimistically. I don't know how big this is. You're, if somebody's out there thinking like, hey, that's what she said, you're better than this. You're better than this. Before I make the incubator, I'm going to make the butterfly dough. So I have three of the tree... Uh, ooh, my hydro is low. Three of the tree, like, bark-producing biodomes here. I'm gonna kill this one. 
And we're gonna put the butterfly dome here. Oh, it looks like it's the, pretty much the same size. Yeah, it's like exactly the same size. Perfect. That's what I was kind of like hoping for and slightly concerned about. So since that is exactly the same size, I can now come up to here at the tops. Uh, I should probably get some water while I'm thinking about it before I die hydrate. Slurpy slurpy. I can come up here to the top and I can drop my incubator up here in this general area so the, the bugs are kind of together. If I can build in here. I hope that I can. If not, I'm going to put a little cube on the back. I think that's probably the best. If it's anything like that... Oh, I expended my fertilizer. If it's anything like the... Um, the 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 biodome with the tree bark, you cannot build in it. So I'm expecting that you probably can't. So let me go ahead and grab some iron and titanium for a boxygen that provides me oxygen. Uh, we'll take two of you. It's just one titanium, right? Yeah. And one of you. And we'll go upstairs. And we'll put our little butterfly thing in the back here. Okay, windows. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. All right, should we do a, a sky... I mean, there's bugs in here, right? So we need, we need some skylighting. Uh, now... What I've been trying to build for the last 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with that. If you're watching and thinking like, please let it be good with that. Let it just advance, advance the story, Nick. Let him be good with it. It's okay, we're good with it. We're good with it. Was it this one or this one? It was this one. We had the full, like, tile, right? Wait, why is... I can't unsee it! I was good with it! Why did you do this to me, Planet Crafter? Why? I want to love you. I want to love you, but when you do this to me, when you make it impossible to build OCD friendly, I die inside. All right, I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm scooting it forward one and I'm leaving it. I have to. I'll never move on with my life. I will just never move on. I would like to experience the bugs from this update, but I can't. Because I just... Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's at least close enough. We can make... Butterfly larva. I have a problem. We can make bee larva for the bee thing with... Uh, uncommon larva. Do I have any of those? I do. Common and uncommon. We have two. So we can turn things into other things. <laughs> and then... Oh, it's the same thing as the DNA multiplier. This is the recipe. This is the inputtery. Recipe and inputtery. So, let's make the beehive next. We need one bee larva. And I think we could put that outside. So, bee larva is mutagen and furt. We have these things. They're just downstairs. I should add a, another staircase over there. Instead of running all the way back. Uh, mutagen. I think I needed some of that. We need... No, not plant seeds. Uh, oh, it was furt. It was fertilizer. And do I have the stuff to make it? The ladder? Do I know where the ladder's at there? That's about you. Oh, no, that is not what we wanted to see. Okay, hang on. It works, but it's not pretty. Hmm. Hmm. What about here? 
I am... Hmm. No, don't go down yet. Or don't break it yet. Go down first. Planet Crafter, you're presenting me with challenges today. Challenges? Challenges? And I don't like it. Uh... Is that gonna look just butthole awful? Yeah, right? It would. So, ideally, I would be right here, I'd assume. Yeah? No, that's not it either. That's not it either. I have to build another Comparto. And I don't have an iron to make the ladder. <laughs> I'm losing my freaking mind. I am alone on this planet in space. So, this checks out. Losing my mind is just part of the process. All right, that works. That's so much better. It uh, actually looks good. And what is this? The crystals, the... Uh, We'll, we'll move this. We'll move this. But we need to make fertilizer for our our beehive. No, we have fertilizer. We need to make... <laughs> what a... <laughs> I forgot what it took. Oh my god. Please find this as hilarious as I do. Oh, we got this stuff. Uh, nope. Wrong one. I need to make fertilizer now. Research. Are you quick? Start sequencing. You're not bad. You're not bad. Uh, we gotta go make some more ferties. And we're gonna do that. I have the sulfur, but we're gonna get the algae. We're gonna do that while you're sequencing. Let's um, grab, grab, grab drink drink and we gotta eat too can't forget to do that I needed iron I think for something I don't even remember uh, we need some cobalt we need some manganese for lights I'll do one more and we need a new brain because this one's broken oh cool the bees are like have grown in the in the, in the little like fish tank thing. Is the sequencing done? The sequencing is done. Uh, we've got our bioplastic nuggy. We've got the fertilizer. We've got everything we need for the beehive. We do. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the front, and we'll put the beehive outside so we don't get stung. Right here. Why not? Oh, that's why not. Um, it is required to be on the ground, and it looks very different from... Uh, let's not put it next to the stairs. We'll get stuck. Let's put it back here. It looks very different than what the model is, I think. Oh, no, honestly, not really. It, the only thing different is like the little flowers. So we open the beehive and we it, it generates honey for us. This is probably what's needed for superfood. I'm going to need a lot more of these. I'm going to need a lot more of these for the superfoods. Uh, we'll put the beehives down here. Come back to me, beehive. We're going to put you in a line here. So we'll just beehive it up. Since you have to be on the ground... It looks like. We'll put you just under here. And we'll collect honey. And we're going to make a bunch of those. Uh, and by a bunch, maybe like three or four. Next, we have Butterfly Farm. Uh, oh. Oh, something's happening. I got the tree seed. Uh, my insects must be moving. Uh, 
let's check our it doesn't display on that board let's check here oh there oh yeah oh it's cooking it's cook go insects go that has to be just because i put down the beehive that is super fast it's chugging along honey's next silk generator which makes the fabric mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay uh i also want to check this i've got these blueprint mods i do this with each patch <gasps> new things a fence no 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 new blueprints for now okay so we got a fence module now oh I don't know if there's anywhere I would put it. I'm looking around at it. Why are there bugs in my face? I don't know if there's anywhere that I would put it. Uh, but that's okay. I'm more excited about playing with the bugs. Let's do more. Well, we have commons. We don't have uncommon. We need commons for butterfly. And we need more mutagen and fertilizer. My goodness. Oh, Butterfly Azure. Butterfly Pinga. Pinga. I think I think I think Pinga is something else in Spanish. So I've researched DNA style, all of the larvas that I had. Uh, and here's what we kind of came out with. We got another bee larva. I, I think from what I'm seeing, it seems almost to be like a little bit random. Uh, so I got a, a silk I got a silkworm. We did get a pinga. Uh, we get two azures and a fencia because there's only three types of larva. There's uh, common, uncommon, and rare. And then it's like a, I want to say maybe like an RNG thing because all the recipes are the same. Rare, rare, rare. Uh, this is un this is uncommon. This is so far. So with uncommon, you can get bee larva or silkworm. It's a coin flip. With common, it looks like you always get a butterfly as a ray. And then rare is Pinga. Pinga. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. Chevron. Amel. Or Louis. L Lou. I think it's Lou. So it's like an RNG type of thing. So it's it en encourages you to go out and collect as many types as possible. Now... Here we are in our butterfly uh, thing. Yeah. I'm looking at the butterfly fl flarm, and it says that it's a 75 per second insect increase. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dehydrate. Do I have water on me, actually? Yes. Uh, 75 per second increase, whereas the dome is a 20 per second increase. Now, I'm looking at the dome, and it's got two slots, so... Bonk, bonk. We have pretty blue butterflies in here. So, if this is 100... I'm sorry, if this is 120... So, this is technically a 240% increase. So, 240% increase to 20... Would be, like, 60... Maybe, maybe like, 68, something like that. 68 per second. Uh, I think... So, in order to measure that, I think the butterfly, or ultimately what I'm getting at is I think the butterfly flarm is going to be more beneficial. And yeah, I honestly, I, I don't know. I'm just, it's too much math for me to like worry about figuring out. We're going to make both. In fact, I'm going to make two butterfly flarms and see if I can't put it where I was going to put the beehive. Uh, so we need a zeolite. We need a, a bioplastic nuggy. And we need, ooh, we got the food now. And we need a fertilizer tier too. These are no problemos. Zeolite. We'll get, oh! There's bees in my base. Okay, we can't have the bees under the base. That's just not going to happen. I wanted the bees under the base. Thought it'd be nice. But they can't respect... <laughs> they can't respect my personal space. Oh, it's full. Look at that, honey. Okay, we gotta move you. Uh, how about... Oh! How about we put the bees next to the flowers? Right? That makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. And it doesn't have to be, like, uh, nice and OCD-friendly. I could just have it, like, randomly out here. 
bees like flowers. Flowers also like bees. That'll perfect. That accidentally works out perfectly. Bioplastic nubs. Uh, I don't get two zeolite. We're gonna make two of these. Bump. 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 And then we need two ferts. Bump. Bump. That's the sound of things entering my inventory. In case you were curious. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I am wondering. Ooh, it's a call. Oh, it's a common. I'm gonna leave it be. You do you, common larva. I can't do it. Okay, that's okay. We'll put it, uh, no, we'll put it, well, they're butterflies. We'll put them, like, right here in the weeds, maybe? Uh, or should we put it next to the flowers? Like the butterflies and the bees? Nah, we'll put it right here for now. We can always move it. It's not that big of a deal. There we go. And it's honestly super freaking pretty. Like, that's really, really attractive. Uh, we had a pinga. So this is doing plus 172 per second. Let's take it out. Plus nothing. Plus 172 per second. I want to see... Oh, and this just makes butterflies fly around my, my base. I want to see if I can go back to the... Get some beans to the biodome and see if I can mouse over the thing and have it tell me. It does! I'm just dumb! It's 48! Pew, pew. 48! So yeah, the butterfly farms are way, way better. Unless we can dump two of the five hundos in here. Hmm. Then it might be better. But for now, we'll uh, we'll let the butterfly farm do its thing. Since it's going to be producing most of what we need. Uh, Fensa. There we go. That was the other one. So we got the Pinga and the Fensa are now in there doing their butterfly thing. Okay, there's too there's, there's far too many butterflies around my base. <laughs>